my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to try out the ColourPop Blue Moon palette. Yes, I have tried it out before, but today is the day where I'm going to use just this palette. I'm actually going to start with swatches because I really don't know what I want to do. So I kind of want to sample all the colors and then figure it out. We're going to start with Lumi. You've seen this one before, but I'll show you one more time. Yeah, so don't be fooled like I was. It is not a shimmery white with just some blue glitters in it. It's a duochrome, a very pretty one, but it's intense. Next, I'm going into Daba D, which hmm, I think that's a great name. Let me try to, just so we can get a better idea of what that color is. It's nice color-wise. The swatch you can see isn't great, but we'll see what it looks like on the eyes. Next is Moonlight, which is also pretty. Hmm. Will I go for an all matte look today? Probably not. <laughs> Next I'm going into Starry Eyed. That is deeper than I expected. Next is Billie Jean, which kind of looks like a maybe blue-silver duochrome. Yeah, it's like a blue-silver, a very murky blue. Next is Tide Pool, which I have tried before and it is very nice. Oh, look at that. Next is Mad About You like a navy. This one is a little stiffer. Not a heavy metallic, just a shimmer. Next is Fine China, which I have tried before. Wow. It's intense. And finally, the last one I have tried before is Clued In, which is a matte navy. There you go. Just so you know, that didn't help me to decide at all. Hmm. I'm gonna start by going in with Moonlight with my fluffy brush from Wish. That's gonna be my transition shade. That's the plan, anyway. This shade, I feel, pulls a little cooler than it is, which I actually prefer warmer blues. That's okay. Testing it out. By the way, I did not set my eyeshadow primer. So far, so good. Next, I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it, and I'm going to go into Daba D. That is going to be my crease shade, I think. At least for now. Trying to add some more here. I do feel like they need building up. At least the ones I've used so far today. Because the ones I used the other day did not. Maybe I'll try to put these three shimmers on the lid. I'm going to start with Mad About You, which is the navy shimmer. And I'm going to put that on my outer third. Uh, I should have put something in the crease first, maybe. Something darker. Oh well. Gotta rock it. This, though, got a little out of hand. What is happening? Next, I'm taking Billie Jean. And that is going in the middle of my lid. Hmm. Interesting. Can't say that I have anything quite like this one. Just gonna blend the two together. I might want to add some more of the navy. And then I'm going to take Lumi and put that on the inner third. Just make sure the two are blended. I think I'm gonna take Daba D 
on my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it. And I think that's what I'm going to do to the lower lash line, at least part of it. I'm going to start by putting that across maybe up to there, like the outer two-thirds. And maybe a tiny bit of Billie Jean over here. And then Lumi on the innermost part. I guess I have to like blend this around a little bit <laughs> because I got it too far in. This was not exactly the look I was going for. And I have to say, I felt like, I don't know, I felt like that would have been effortless and I felt like it wasn't. I'm not saying these are bad, but definitely the ones that I used last time, I had a better time with. These I had to build up more and maybe they just weren't the colors I was looking for today. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use the White Stones out of the Wet n Wild Crystal Cavern Brightening Rocks Infinity Stones highlighter thing on my dollar store brush. That is bright. Yeah, these definitely pack more of a punch than what I got that first day trying them out. I think it's a matter of what brush you use. Might as well try out this eyeliner from Kiko that I never tried out. It's from the Beyond Limits collection, and this is the one in 03. It's the Indigo one. That looks pretty purple to me. You can't see the shimmer on it in the camera, but out here, there's like a warm purple shimmer to it. But we're going to try it on the lower lash line anyway. Nope, it doesn't want to go. Mm, yeah, okay, that didn't really do much. For the heck of it, let me see if I can get some on my hand. That's purple. That's not indigo or blue. Now that I did that, let me just try again. It's there, but not very well. Feels kind of stiff and waxy when I move it around on my hand. I'm thinking this one is definitely something only to be used like atop your lid or maybe like right under your waterline, but not on it. So I'm just going to take that off. So I just looked at this eye look in natural light. And I do like it better there. It's just still not exactly what I was going for. But as usual, I'll let you know in the description box how it wore throughout the day. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day, no matter what it is you're doing. Bye! See you next time!